few words first, um, more words later. On this video I'm playing with camera and a few links. Camera I'm playing with uh, Canon EOS Rebel XT. The first lens is Kit Optics EFS 1855. That's gonna be a time called. And another one is Chinon whatever 52 multi-part mounted on this camera with another ring of happiness uh, it's m42 eos adapter ring it's absolutely manual i was curious how it's gonna work it was my first experience with both this lens and the camera i don't know pretty much about the place place is awesome boston suburb somewhere in massachusetts so let's go
satellite already almost gone uh, but the second location was just by the way and I just stopped it by because I like this place I like this rotten car and tractors and well, why not yeah I know what's mean color correction and how to do it but I don't give a f if you do you're welcome <laughs> So what I'm gonna do next, these pictures are gonna be used for my upcoming Instagram grid, I'm gonna mix it together with something, I already know with some. I have few more ideas how I can utilize these pictures, maybe I'm gonna shoot another video. Initially I wanted to create one super video to show the entire creative process from its end to beginning, with me taking pictures, then editing it, mixing it with something else together and then post it on Instagram. and. Turns out the reality is I'm moving slow, but I'm pretty sure I will post the second episode with working on these pictures before it went to Instagram. Anyway, I got some visible difference between these two lenses. One of them is fixed focus, and using manual lens is not something I'm gonna recommend to my friend or my worst enemy. Another one is a zoom kit lens. Well, Canon EOS Rebel XT. As I told, never used one before. Um, I did my quick Google research about this camera. It's the second uh, EOS digital camera. The first one was uh, Canon D300. This is Rebel XT. This is Canon EOS digital Rebel XT. This is how it came to US mark. Also known as Canon EOS 350D, aka EOS Kiss Digital N in Japan. It's 8 megapixels CMOS sensor camera and I would actually much more 
greatly appreciate if it's gonna be a CCD sensor, but I have another camera for that kind of nostalgia. I sold this camera once uh, before uh, when it was actual model. I uh, never got a chance to um, do something with it, I just sold it. And basically this camera met my expectations entirely. I mean, it's exactly what I expected for this camera to do. I'm a bit surprised with this chin on lens because I expected it's gonna work worse, but I like how the photos looks like. Uh, for the kit lens it's very very regular, it's just how kit lens supposed to be, it does a job, it's very very usual, it's super usual. And I like it because it's super usual. Um, autofocus works fine, I have no any complaints. I paid 48 bucks for the camera, a compact flash card, charger, battery, camera bag. And the only reason that made me made its purchase is another lens. Because uh, it was a bundle in Turf Store for 48 bucks uh, for this stuff and another Sigma lens. I was not sure at the moment of the purchase how much it does it cost. This is my second Sigma lens. Uh, from the first glance, I figured out that it's definitely gonna cover the full frame. I had lack of optics for my 5D and this one gonna work. I never tried it yet. It's in pretty nice condition. Actually, I'm lying. I already attached it to my Canon. I'm pretty sure it works. I'm pretty sure autofocus is working. I especially like taking pictures on the cameras that cost less than 10 bucks. I have a lot of such cameras and maybe we'll shoot a few videos about it. For 48 bucks altogether. I believe it is a nice deal. It will appear in a few more videos, maybe. Maybe it's not. It's a nice little oldish camera from 2006. If your smartphone can do better pictures, I'm just happy about you with your smartphone. For my Instagram, I'm using only some sort of oldish and weird stuff like this one. But in general, it's a camera. It reminds the camera back here in 2023. 24 maybe already, I don't know. It's maybe more a toy right now, I'm not sure if anyone gonna use it for any actual photo shoot or for any purpose except for surfing on nostalgia waves like I do. But it still reminds the camera, it's retro digital and, and some pictures I took that day back, it looks pretty well to me, I mean, yeah, I like it. If anyhow you watching this right now, whatever you are, I just want to say thank you and it's not the last retro digital camera I'm gonna walk with. I hope you enjoyed this little pony ride and have a good day to you. <laughs>